Let's make watercolor using alcohol inks. First I chopped up transparent clay. Then I dripped my colors randomly on the pile. I used red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. You can do this with any combination you like. I wanted them to drip into the cracks and blend together. You know I couldn't resist a metallic color, I used gold. Let that dry before the next step. But since I'm hard-headed I started rolling it out. Before it was completely dried. Since it has ink on it use a piece of paper to roll over. To keep your roller clean, it also will soak up leftover ink. Now look what happened, this is why I say art is a mess. But we gone pretend it was dry and move on. I tore the slab in pieces and put it on a transparent backing. I prefer negative space in my art. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't completely covered up. Next I'm going to roll it out and burnish it, before stretching it in my pasta machine. To burnish means to use the heat from friction from your hands, to smooth out the slab by rubbing it. I started on zero being my thickest setting, then gradually went down to a two in my pasta machine. Next, I will cut out my shapes and bake it onto 175 for an hour. I baked several pieces I will show you later. For this, I will work on my jumbo earrings for this set. For these layered earrings, drill holes using a hand drill. On the top corners, I wanted to bring out the top cut out layer, so it won't blend as much, so I used gold alcohol ink on the edges. If the ink drips onto the front or back just use rubbing alcohol and a wipe to remove it. To me it's easier to clean spill over than paint or a marker. I used UV resin to seal on a charm. I did not use glue. Since I'm coating it with resin. the charm I covered the piece in UV resin and let it set under the UV lamp for at least two minutes. Use to jump rings on the back piece and attach it to the main ring that attaches all three pieces. using jewelry glue and let set 24 hours before coating it with resin you can leave as is but i like the added security here's what i made you can check these out on my website if you would like a pair